In this video, we're going to show you some of the correct working procedures of working with your Tryon S1 LiDAR scanner. So this is some do's and don'ts when you start working. When working with your scanner, you should typically not point it to a moving subject as it causes noise. The LiDAR scanner needs static data to gather key points in the SLAM algorithm. During scanning, if you're the operator, you should typically work alone. If someone is with you, just make sure that that person is walking behind you. LiDAR does not like reflectivity. So if you go into a space where there's glass, um, windows, or even mirrors, that's something that you would like to cover. When working in an environment which has a very similar look, something like a corridor, make sure that you place some key objects inside of that corridor so that the scanner can actually pick up different objects in your scan. When starting up the S1 LiDAR scanner and you need to go through the initialization process, make sure you put it down on a stable surface in a feature-rich area. A best practice with the LiDAR scanner is to do loop closure. So that means when during your scan, you should always try to now and again go past the same features as you did before. Best practice when moving from one space to another space. Let's say there's a door post and the door post in this instant will be your feature. You'll make sure that as you approach it, that you have scanned it and then you will turn around so that the scanner is still keeping sight of that feature and you will reverse into your new space. When scanning inside or outside of a building, always make sure that you either scan a building with doors either open or closed. Never scan where a door is actually currently opening or closing. While you are busy with your scan and you want to make a turn or a U-turn, make sure that you reduce your speed to at least one third of your normal walking speed. And as you make a U-turn, stand still for at least two seconds so that the scanner can see features on both sides before you start walking again. When scanning an environment that is feature rich, the way to hold it is that you will actually take the base of the scanner and make sure that that is parallel to the ground. So you'll see that the scanner is facing a little bit upwards. When transitioning to a space where there's less features, you will tilt the scanner so that the scanner itself is actually parallel with the ground, making sure that it can capture as many features as possible. The recommended walking speed while scanning in an open environment, you can probably walk at about one meter per second. When you're closing in into a more closed environment, like a corridor, reduce your speed to about a half a meter per second. Talking about the minimum and maximum range of the S1 LiDAR scanner, the minimum range is about a half a meter. So always make sure that the object that you're scanning, that you are further than a half a meter away from that object. When walking through a narrow corridor, make sure that you're walking in the middle of the corridor. If we're looking at the maximum range, in an optimal environment, you are looking about at 120 meters worth of range. But in most cases, you will get data up until 90 meters, but try and do your work um, at about 60 meters to get optimal data. When you have to scan a large area, plan ahead and make sure that you divide your scan into sections. We do recommend that you do not exceed a 20 minute scan duration. When scanning a small room, what you should do is standing at the door, you should typically just put your arm inside of the room, wait for two to three seconds and pull it back and continue with your scan. 